Today, I build a farm that will get me lots and lots of ender pearls. I also begin my quest for the elusive brown panda by creating a selective breeding program. And I build a machine that allows you to teleport thousands of blocks just by pressing a button completely in vanilla survival. And I also built a giant futuristic building to go with it. First, I'd like to visit a brand new place. To do this, I'm gonna need some eyes of ender. And if I now fly towards spawn, I should be able to throw another eye of ender and it will show me the nearest stronghold. It says it's in this direction, so that's where we're going. It could be anywhere around here. Let's see if I've gone past it. Okay, yeah, I have flown over it. I know this is a massive waste, but I've always wanted to do this. Let's just throw loads of eyes of ender and see what happens. According to my calculations, it's right about here. Now we dig straight down and find the stronghold. And look at this, it connects to a mine shaft. And diamonds in a chest. Well, I know I'd, what I say about diamonds, but it's pretty cool to find them. And then we find the portal room. Also feel like I should keep the spawner for a change because they are kind of rare. Now add the eyes of ender and through we go. I may use that stronghold as one of my projects, but we'll have to see. Also, people think that message that comes on screen about no home bed means I died. It, it just means I went through an end portal. My turtle leg's still haven't hatched but that one's still furiously laying them and now i can begin my next project which begins with gathering lots and lots of ender pearls yes i do have a wither rose farm but i'm going to create something much better than that here's all the items that i'm going to need time to head to the end so i believe the best place to build this is going to be this way and what i want to do here is place a bucket of lava but once that's got to the bottom we're going to put water right here and that's going to turn it all into cobblestone and i could now be extremely careful and just float to the bottom using water and all that kind of thing but uh, that sounds a bit boring so instead we're we're going to do something like... Oh, 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 okay. Well, <laughs> that was not part of the plan. Hey, if we just do that, there we go. No problem. And now we can fill this up with ladders. Maybe I should avoid doing things like that since my entire livelihood depends on not dying in this world. I've now bridged far enough away to avoid any Enderman from spawning. Let's now build a platform. Also, the reason Enderman farms are built as close to the void as possible because mob spawning happens in the world from bottom to top, so the lower the farm the better the rate. Now I'm going to very carefully use my water to make a platform underneath. And this is going to be storage for all the ender pearls I'm going to get. So a chest like this, one here and one here, with some more on this side as well. And then these can feed into more chests underneath with hoppers like that. I'd also like to change this block right there, do this, and then we can add some ladders to get out. And these hoppers are going to go like that. And we'll kind of do something like this so that it alternates to both sides. Now we're going to build a little bit of a roof for this so that no enderman can get down to me. And that is the platform complete. And if we add double carpet on top, it will stop enderman from teleporting here. And now we're going to build a chamber that goes high up enough so that the Endermen take loads of damage. Now the chamber is complete up to the right height, but before I can go any further, I'm going to need some Endermen. 